I'm Alex, I'm a physician assistant. I'm here with our patient. We are treating her bilateral shoulders, rotator cuff, and osteoarthritis. So we are doing PRP for the shoulders. We've taken her blood already, and we're actually spinning it down right now in the centrifuge. It will separate the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and the platelets. And then from there, we will inject it back into her shoulders, the joints, and the rotator cuffs. Grabbing the Buffy coat, so all of the white is platelet pore plasma. That separation between the plasma and the red blood cells, that white film that you see, that's the Buffy coat. So, with protein concentrate, you'll get with a 120 draw, you'll get about 8 mLs of protein concentrate. You're talking just PRP. So, these graduations on the actual concentration device kind of help indicate what volume you're going to get. So, if I were to bring the Buffy coat to that 6 right there, mm -hmm. switch syringes, and put my injectate syringe on there, it would give me about a 6 ml injection. And so, mm -hmm. right now you can see it. that Buffy coat coming up. Really cool to see. You're going to get some red, yep. but because you haven't gotten all the white yet, just like that, so I would stop right there. That is still considered a leukocyte for PRP. If you wanted a leukocyte rich PRP, we would stop here and then continue to go one amount into the red blood cell. I'm gonna take, I call this milking the cow. <laughs> so basically I'm gonna pump back and forth and all of that water falling into the vac lock is the water from the plasma. This is your PRP. This holds all of your platelets and that's gonna help with tissue regeneration, healing, everything like that. The protein concentrate is what we call liquid gold. It has all of your macromolecules, your proteins, growth factors, and it helps to enhance the PRP and lead to that results. So right now what I'm looking at, this is the shoulder, this is the shoulder joint right here. This is the infraspinatus, which is one of the rotator cuff muscles coming and attaching. This is where the labrum lives, and then there's the nerve over here. So I'm gonna come down like this and go right into the joint.